everyone, I'm Ari Bernstein, the mayor of Allendale. As most of you know, normally, Memorial Day is a cherished and wonderful day in Allendale. From a parade through the center of town to a deeply moving and important ceremony here in Memorial Park, with the Brookside Band playing and the wonderful essays being read by seventh grade students. And who could forget the hot dogs and beer at the firehouse? A little bit like a Norman Rockwell painting. A little bit like Mayberry, perhaps a lot like Mayberry, but it's Allendale. It's our town, we know it and we love it. Due to the current pandemic, we could not celebrate and honor our soldiers as we have in the past. So we're doing things differently this year, remotely with social distancing. But through it all, the thoughts are the same. Thank you to all of our soldiers, men and women, throughout our rich, long history, who have fought for our country, have risked their lives, and in many cases lost their lives for our freedom and our country. We are eternally grateful. This year's Memorial Day will be like no other any of us has ever experienced. Our days, our lives, our family activities, employment and social interactions, everything has changed, dramatically changed. But as we have heard, and as I have said, we're all in this together. Never in our last century have so many people been impacted to the very core of our existence, where our health and lives are at risk. We're being asked by our local, state, and national leaders, as well as the best medical minds, to stay at home, minimize travel, keep our social distance, but we must not let Memorial Day be just another day of self-isolation without meaning or awareness. Take this special day, adjust your routine, and remember those that gave and are still giving their last full measure of devotion and who paid the ultimate price for our freedom by honoring what they gave to all of us as we enjoy the lives we cherish today. Never before, nor should we now suspend honoring those who have served and died for our country. So please join me and the Borough Council and the Allendale VFW, the Police Department, the Fire Department, the Ambulance Corps, the Health Department, CERT and our OEM team in taking part in this very important Memorial Day ceremony. Thank you very much. Today we are gathered here as a community We've been blessed with American freedoms. And unfortunately, 
many of the times these freedoms we take for granted, but today we don't. We are gathered to honor those valiant men and women who have served the armed forces of our country and have given their lives so that we might be here today and that we might still live with these freedoms. We need to be constantly reminded of this priceless gift of freedom that we've been given. And for those who have given all to make sure that future generations will continue to know life in a free and in a democratic society. Remembering those who have passed is not the only task, however, that is set before us today. We must also carry their love, their honor, and their duty to the future generations that will pass. Our children and our grandchildren must know who they were, what they did, but most importantly, why they did it. To do anything less would be a grave disservice to their sacrifice, to their service, and to their memories. And so those that we honor today and have passed on have created a very clear pathway for us to continue our American journey forever. Forever illuminated by their ultimate sacrifice. We must never, ever waver from this path of freedom and democracy that they've shed their blood for us. And so today, let us take their memories, let us take their dreams, and let us walk humbly forward, shouldering that sacred cause of freedom, a freedom that we will carry high and that we will carry proud, because this is what they did. And now we, must also join the march forward for them. We do this for our children and for our children's children. Amen. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of, of the United, United States, States of America, America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. services across our country today, we come together as a nation to remember those lost in the clash of battle, the thunder of bombs, the roar of tanks, the rumbling of airplanes flying overhead, and the scream of artillery shells. This Memorial Day we come together, even if only in mind and spirit, to honor the many sacrifices made for our freedom. Amid the war-torn decades we've endured, we take great pride in these heroes. 
These men and women who believed they were just doing their duty. They had strength when the situation demanded it, determination when everything felt lost, and devotion, courage, and patriotism when others looked to them for guidance. No one ordered them to practice the most basic of human ideals. They did it because they were Americans and lived in a nation worth defending. In cemeteries across America and around the world today, people will pause to spread flowers on the graves of those lost in war. But today should not be about the sorrow we feel at their loss and not about mourning. What it should be about was best expressed by General George S. Patton back in 1944 at a military cemetery in France. Looking out across a field filled with rows of crosses, marking the graves of men who just days before had been a part of his army, Patton said, we should thank God that such men lived. And that is what this very special day is all about, being thankful that such brave men and women have lived to pay this tribute, these heroic patriots who bravely rose up and fought for something greater than themselves protecting a home to which they never returned. They sacrificed everything for the noblest of causes. And it's up to you and me to carry their memory forward in an effort to repay a debt that can never truly be repaid. Flowers, memorials, and flags at half staff, and the sad note of taps, as meaningful as they are, they are not enough. What we really must do to honor their sacrifices is to live for what they died for. Live the America they died for, a country of freedom, equality, opportunity, and unlimited promise. Live filled with hope, hope that what they gave us will last forever, and that freedom and opportunity will find all who seek it. Today we go beyond tradition, beyond remembering, and beyond mourning. Today we work together to make this country they died for, building a better nation each and every day. They gave up their todays for our tomorrows, and now we must carry their message of dedication and determination to the generation in uniform today, and to the generations who serve tomorrow, because there is no greater way to honor the memory of those who served. As is tradition, the Allendale VFW honors two students from Brookside School. Students wrote essays, What Memorial Day Means to Me, and this year, the girl winner is Liliana Buchanan, daughter of Nancy and Burke Buchanan. And the boy winner is Justin Shee, son of Jenny Shao and Victor Shee. Please take a moment after this video and click the link below to read their essays. World War I, Harold Cook Ackerson, Marshall Harry Couch, James Robert Hubbard, John Raymond McDermott, Gustav William Nadler, Charles Farnett Nid, Harry Otto Weimer, Edward Sherwood Nid, World War II, Daniel L. Seeley, John J. Fox, Edward J. Hamilton, Eugene A. Ivers, Bruce S. McIntyre, John A. Sawyer, Harold W. Scott Jr., Charles A. Yeomans, Vietnam, Rocco J. DiMercurio.